Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Every year, around May 21st, the Xiaoman solar term arrives. Abundant rainwater is essential for a good harvest. The silkworms and cart deities are the symbols of wealth and prosperity, and folks hold cultural activities expressing their gratitude. Lesser fullness, or xiaoman in Chinese, is the second solar term in summer. While it's getting steadily hotter and wetter, the wheat grains become fuller by the day. But they're nowhere near ripe enough for harvesting yet. The ancient Chinese gave this season its characteristic by calling it xiaoman, or lesser fullness. In the fertile southeast of China, one of the legends of midsummer is the birthday of the goddess of silk. Well, I'm now in Wutian, and I'm heading out to a little town on its outskirts. Now, this town has the GDP of an entire city of China. Now that's a huge amount of money when you consider how wealthy China is. How did this happen? Quite simply with the invention of one product, silk. Shengzhe town Wujiang city. This is one of the four most important historical centers of silk in China, and its importance has only grown as it has become a sophisticated production and distribution center. I hear that over 10 billion meters of silk comes from this place every single year. The silk industry holds up the entire local economy. So it's not surprising that the locals worship the creature that makes it all possible, the silkworm. Every year, Shengzhe Town will put on a 10-day long opera all about the silkworm. In Shengzhe, Shen Yingbao is a household name. Specializing in silk production for more than 20 years, the locals consider him an expert in the subject. Shu 祝贺他的生日,同时也是庆贺我们自己的产检丰收. The smoothest and most delicate spun silk is threaded with real gold. Only the most expensive and gorgeous brocade deserves to be dedicated to the silkworm goddess, to thank her for the wealth her worms have brought, this year and through the ages. Shengzhe's history has been strung together by silk. As early as 5,000 years ago, people planted mulberry trees to feed their silkworms. Tan 
都是靠重商养蚕，嗯，呃，发家致富的，是吧？啊，那么这个蚕宝宝呢，它非常嫩，嫩，非常稚嫩，呃，很很容易生病，是吧？因此呢，我们要像。照顾小孩子一样，照顾宝宝一样的来照顾蚕，所以把它称作叫蚕宝宝。这片双院很大，没错，巨大。哇，这这是这是人家，这是一家养蚕的人家，这是人家，对，也是在这养。你看，今天都关着门，为什么？也这是我们这儿的一种规矩，养蚕季节，因为这个蚕宝宝非常的娇嫩，稍微有一点不好的这个这个味道，它就不能吐丝，所以呢，人员不往来，门都关着。费劲是吗？我啊，来这儿，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，在楼下，就是养这个蚕是吧？然后在楼上住啊！哇、wow, ，My Lord， look at this， incredible！ 这么一个屋，你这个屋子里你大概有多少个蚕，知道吗？大概这里啊，这里有三万多个。三万多，三万多，三万多个。还能。就一直在听到他们吃，吃商业的声音，能听到，听到，商业是是是很沙沙沙沙沙的，对对对，像雨声一样，像雨声。我那我可以抱一个吗？我的我的手应该干净的啊。我的可大，你看多可爱。它还得站到大概多么大才才？成熟了，还要炸两炸两两天，两天它就要吐丝了，两天马上就要吐丝，就吐丝啊！对，完了吐丝也要等多长时间？呃，吐丝吐丝还要三天，三天，完了呢？就成茧子，就成茧子，就可以了啊！对，然后就把它卖掉，嗯，没有人人养蚕啊，你就不不会有丝绸，是吧？也不会有好的服装，对，你们是丝绸的英雄，对对，你们给它吃好了，这一点一直都吃不了多少，啊，对对，随便随便。Being an Englishman, of course I know about silk, and I knew about the silkworm, but it's quite hard to understand the influence of one little worm on such an incredibly vast country. This guy is responsible for wars, and on top of that, really, for the first economic boom of China. Amazing, and there's about 30,000 of them in this room. Once this guy starts to spin a cocoon, and the silk comes out. Well, that's where the magic happens. But this is where it all starts. A worm. China's first farming culture involved men plowing the fields and bringing in the food, and women raising silkworms to produce silk thread for weaving. Silk was one of the earliest animal fibers used in China. It's hard to imagine, more than 2,000 years ago, the Chinese invented a spinning wheel to turn these worms' cocoons into silk thread, and that this craft didn't make it to Europe until the 13th century. This is the most best of the tan. Tan tan. Then the tan tan, when it comes down, first you have to use hot water. After the hot water, you have to slowly remove this tan tan. Slowly, slowly, you have to remove it. 理出来，就是会等到有这么一条线，哎，剩下一条线了，这条线要好细，好细呀、啊，对，好细。你看，每一根丝其实它下边，嗯，有好几个茧子，嗯，并成一根丝，这里边，到在这个地方，然后呢，这根丝拉过来，停在这里。然后呢，再用脚来踏，啊哈，让它转转起来，哎，要快，然后就，哎，对对对，就把这个丝啊，慢慢的、慢慢的全部。明白了，这个就是烧丝，这个很了不起。哎，对，这么一个东西，它能大概有多么长的丝绸呢？这么一个剪子，嗯。
有一千到一千五百米长，能超过一公里。是，你像这个这个虫子要多么辛苦。是哎。Jianhua is one of the most famous silk pattern designers in Suzhou. In order to better realize his own design, he needs high quality silk. The highest quality cocoons spun every year will be selected, delivered here to be woven into extremely expensive Song Dynasty style brocade. Apex领导的穿过来，是吧？这个丝绸的是我们丝绸的这个服装，就是因为很舒服，是吧？对啊，一个老一放，这这个好光啊，是吧？看到吧，这就是松紧，这就是松紧，这就是松紧，对啊。
，是这个。哎，要把它拿掉，然后呢？把它拿掉。哎，再包成包成小棉兜子。然后把它拉开。拉开，拉开，好上。Once we've got our boiled cocoon, we start to see what happens here inside this beautiful cocoon. Now it's gone all soft. You can see the poor little silkworms who put in so much effort are right in there. And there's two in there. Look at that. Amazing. And then once you get in there, you've got to start cleaning out all of the stuff that's in here. And you've got to start stretching this silk. This is the, really the, the very pure form of silk, isn't it? This is basically the cocoon that's been stretched out. And I keep stretching it out until it's long enough. Now I think I've really washed this up, but here we go. Oh, it's not so bad, look at that. So all that effort for one cocoon stretched over here. Now to make one big duvet, well you're probably talking about more than a thousand of these. It's a lot of effort and you can imagine just how hard these ladies have to work. This is silk right here. Beautiful. Silkworm cocoons are individually stretched out and combined into one large reel. After it's dried, this becomes the raw material for making silk quilts. Look, this is the bed of the bed. Oh! Yes, the bed of the bed. You need to remove the bed of the bed. 就它的长度、它的宽度，这么一层一层拉出来， uh -huh. 全部都是用刚刚的那种棉兜在做的。你看，这样包装，慢慢的、慢慢的拉出来，哎，好几层了啊，好几层，嗯、uh -huh. ，哎，它根据不同的用途啊，它有不同的这个厚度。Uh -huh. These five kilogram quilts require up to eight thousand cocoons. Silk quilts are completely handmade. Only after 15 years of experience can these ladies make the silk even enough and soft enough for the job. Just like a bed, a bed. Yes. You can see it's very soft. You can see it's very soft. You can see it's very soft. Has taken me on a magical little tour through this solar term. A dress, a quilt, they might look pretty standard stuff, but when you look closely and listen to their past, they can be traced back to a time thousands of years ago when a curious and fairly romantic person found a small cocoon and became impassioned by producing something beautiful. Maybe it is this that the people of Shenzhou have carried through the millennia. Appreciation through worship of the silk goddess, who was the first to bring them such riches at this solar term.